friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting some Halloween projects and I'm going to make this into a series. I'm not sure how many parts it'll end up being, but um, I'm making treat bags for a Halloween party that I'm hosting at my house. So the first part of making the treat bags is I'm making these rosette wand things. So that's what I am doing now. And I took out my paper pad that I got last year from Michael's and I'm cutting a bunch of strips to be 12 by one and a uh, one and a quarter, sorry, 12 by one and a quarter inches. And um, each rosette will be two of those strips. So two 12 by one and a quarter inch strips. So I just took a bunch of my favorite papers and a bunch of papers that I thought would make sense for a rosette. And um, I'm going to cut out four of each so that I can have two. I didn't really have a number in mind. I have no idea how many people are coming to my party. This video was done in like the beginning of September. So I just made a bunch and um, yeah, so that's what you're seeing here. And I'm gonna score them all at half an inch. And uh, a scoreboard is really helpful to make this really exact. You can also use like uh, an electronic cutting machine or something and um, do that. So anyway, now I'm gonna fold them all like back and forth like a fan kind of fold and do that to all of them. And this was quite the process. It took a long time. I don't remember how many I made in the end, maybe like 12 or so. I can't remember exactly, but it made a lot, which was great. And I kind of just did it um, just in like a bulk like this so that I would just have a lot and it would all be done at once. And yeah, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a circle punch. I have no idea the size, one inch maybe. I honestly have no clue. And I'm just punching a bunch of circles out because I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to glue the circles on um, each side of the rosette. Now this part is a little bit tricky, at least for me it's a little bit tricky, but if you are patient with it and take your time then um, it might get easier. So you glue each end of the rosette together and I use hot glue like I said and then you take one of the circles and you put hot glue on it and you fold it up into the rosette and then you take another circle and put it on the other side so that it's all glued and tight together. And the nice thing about using hot glue is that it dries pretty fast compared to a regular wet glue. So um, if you mess up like me right here, it's, an, it's frustrating, but um, otherwise you don't have to hold it for too long. So anyway, it sometimes takes a while to bunch together, but you know, it's worth it in the end. They look cute. Maybe you'll be better at this than me, but um, yeah, hot glue is very strong. So that is another good thing about it. So now they're all done. I didn't film everything because that would have just been kind of boring. Um, and I was actually going to put the initial, the first initial of everybody's name who's coming to the party um, on these rosettes and they that could be like then that's how they would know which one is theirs but then I I just thought I don't know exactly who's coming because it's so early and I haven't even asked many people yet so I took off the A and uh, I just decorate it regularly because I realized yeah I didn't I didn't want to make I didn't want to have some, like if someone else showed up and they didn't have a goodie bag with their name on it, I didn't want that to happen. So um, I just made them all generic um, Halloween themed. Um, I have, I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff, but I do have like enough. I got some things from Tuesday morning, probably back in like July. Uh, that were Halloween, yeah, like a Halloween themed stuff. And that kind of nicely added to my stash. I got um, another set of those stickers that I, those sparkly stickers. And then the ones on the right are really cute, like pastel stickers. And then the ephemera pack is a pebbles pack. So lots of nice stuff to work with. And um, so for this one I'm doing here, I use like a scallop circle punch to 
make a nice place for everything to kind of sit. And I use foam on a lot of the pieces as well. These, that, that sparkly, um, Spider is from an ephemera pack that I got from the dollar store from Dollarama here in Canada. I got it last year. I haven't looked yet this year to see if they have any Halloween stuff. But for the past two years, they've had like giant ephemera packs for like a dollar or two. And they're really nice stuff. So I would recommend checking out your dollar store. I don't know if that's just a Canadian thing or what. But I was shocked because usually it's America that has the really nice inexpensive things so that was kind of a nice surprise um that bear and deer thing things are from my pen pal I forget who gave it to me I'm so sorry it was last year I can't quite remember um and I thought it's not quite Halloween themed but they're fall themed and I think it's still really cute there might be a kid or two stopping by at our house for Halloween so I thought those are pretty cute um, and I'm using lots of my orange and green enamel dots on these because I never use orange and green so this was perfect um, I could really use those up and that felt really good to do that because they just sit in my stash until Halloween <laughs> so that was great um, and I had a lot of fun decorating these, just picking out different things for my stash. And um, yeah, I think they all turned out really cute. I'm using Dimension on that little tag. Um, I just couldn't really picture myself using that tag anywhere else on any other projects. I don't really do a lot of um, Halloween scrapbooking or anything like that. So I might with the ephemera pack and stuff like that. I have some more like calmer generic things now this year like like that ephemera pack and that sticker sheet you see there like to me that doesn't like scream overly Christmas orange and and black and I'm not really a huge orange fan so um I will use it a little bit at Halloween but otherwise like it's not I'm not a huge fan of that color. So I think I might maybe use it a little bit in my project life or something. We'll see. But um, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't really use up that much Halloween stuff except for Happy Mail or this project, for instance. So I'm going to have a Halloween party at my house. Nothing really big. Like I have one friend whose husband is working, so she's going to come over for the night and uh, hang out and then my other friends I'm just going to tell them to stop by if they want one of them well two of them have just had kids so I thought it'd be fun if they stopped by just to say hi see them in their cute costumes and give them a treat bag and um, yeah because I'm sure they have lots of family that they want to see and stuff but yeah, I want to tell my friends they can stop by and I have bought some decorations. I want to decorate like a food table and they can come grab some food and chat for a few minutes. So that's kind of my plan for Halloween. My husband and I normally just kind of hang out at home and we get about like 30 or 40 trick-or-treaters, which I don't know if that's good or not good. Um, depends on the neighborhood, I guess, where I live, but that's pretty good, I would say. So... So yeah, um, it's not like a really busy night with trick-or-treaters, but we do get enough where it's worth it for me to be home to hand out candy. So it's not like my trick-or-treaters will be getting these goodie bags. These are just for friends, but um, I'm going to get lots of candy to hand out to the kids. And yeah, so... I really like those spiderweb things. You can see on the top right, I use that one behind the rosette. And then in the middle, the rest in peace one, I used on top of the rosette, but behind the ephemera. So I thought that looked kind of cool both ways. And um, I think I remember getting those from Michael's last year. And I really like how those turned out. I think they look really cool. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do much Halloween happy mail this year. I don't know how many of my pen pals celebrate Halloween. So I'm not going to go too overly crazy with it. But I might send a couple of these to some pen pals just as a little treat. 
Um, and I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do in the goodie bags. If I should do some shaker pockets, I might do that. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I don't know if that would like mean as much to them as it would to like a pen pal or someone who knows the crafty world and stuff. But now I am adding these straws that I got from Target when I was over the border. So I'm going to add those to the back of these rosettes. I don't really use straws otherwise just because like they're really bad for the environment and stuff. But I do have extra now and I, I don't know. I guess I could use the black and white ones for like everyday things. But the orange and black I won't be able to use till next year or maybe I'll just have them at my party to use them up. But... Um, yeah, I think they look really cute with these rosettes and I really can't wait to do the entire goodie bag and, and pick out the treats and everything. I'm really excited to put everything together. So I'm just using hot glue and kind of stuffing it behind the rosette. I don't really care if the backs don't look perfect. That won't really bother me. Um, and I don't think it'll bother anyone it's going to either. So yeah. And that basically finishes off this project. So let me know what you think and look out for the other videos in the future because I will be posting more videos about these goodie bags and um, decorating the bags themselves and other things that I'm going to put inside and putting the bags together. So be on the lookout for those videos. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having fun prepping for Halloween as well. And have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.